Queensland's new health minister says the old Royal Children's Hospital will not be left empty, vowing to keep beds in wards. He says he's not daunted by the task of fixing our sick health system. The boxes are barely unpacked, but Queensland's new health minister knows he has a tough job on his hands. I have 25% of the state's budget. Indeed, I suppose you could always say up to 90% of the headaches. He says he wants the sick payroll system fixed and will set up regional health care boards, reporting issues back to Queensland Health. He wants them operating by the end of May. We want to be able to put more of that authority back in to local communities, whether they're in the city or the country, to run their hospitals through boards. The Bligh government plan to split Queensland Health in two is history. We're not turning one dysfunctional system into two dysfunctional systems. We're going to make sure that the existing one is managed better. Lawrence Springborg says he has no plans to mothball the Royal Children's Hospital facility, but nothing in health is cheap. Keeping it open would require significant funding from new Premier Campbell Newman. That hospital facility must be kept open for us to be able to use it to address the ongoing health care needs of Queenslanders. He says he'll investigate how best to fill the space with vital beds and make a recommendation to Cabinet. I want all of the options about how we can use that facility to address a range of things, whether it be elective surgery or any of the other matters that we need to address across Queensland. The Southern Downs MP says he isn't daunted by taking on the health portfolio. There are no quick fixes for this. Uh, Queensland Health will be demonstrably better at the end of my tenure as Health Minister and I just ask people to judge me on that. Ursula Hager, 10 News.